hi welcome back to my channel well in this video uh, we will be doing a demonstration regarding a factorial uh, experiment uh, this is actually a video which is a continuation to the previous video which was made on the randomized complete block design but that was a single factor case uh, but here we will be doing the analysis of the same design but in a factorial setup for that we have a data set uh, and for that what we will do we will click on this import data set then uh, click on this enter since my data is stored in excel file then since it's stored on this my desktop so frc bd is my file it will get displayed here then we will click on this import so we have a data set we have different replicates how many replications we have we have three replications and we have two factors shade and spacing four levels of sharing and three levels of spacing so we have an asymmetric type of factorial experiment in context to RCBD and we have different uh, variables or the variables which have to be analyzed or evaluated with respect to these two factors PS and OPL and these are the different variables which we have to analyze. So the first important thing is since we have a data set we will write the names of our data set what are the labels of my data set so FRCBD then uh, in order to proceed uh, every time whenever you have a data set try to get its report by using the library which is quite significant in my opinion as a data analyst uh, I will always uh, try to recommend this library that is data explorer and for that you will write this create a report then factorial rcb this is the name of the data set then uh, within fraction of seconds will be having a wonderful data profiling report from which which from which uh, you can have a general idea what kind of data uh, set we have or do we have any uh, missing observations and the good thing is you can see the normality of each and every variable along with so we have a data profiling report uh, we of our data set where you can see we have 36 rows we have 10 columns we have three discrete columns which includes application uh, sharing factor and spacing factor we have seven continuous we have no missing observations memory allocation is also visible here you can see uh, these columns are represented by this red color observations by green and the rows are by blue then you can see uh, we have uh, different variables here which are in character form replication shade spacing then we have numeric seven variables then after that you can see our band is good the band of our data set is good there is no missing value here there is a wonderful data profiling report we have some histograms for each and every variable then this is very important we have qq plots by which we can check whether our data is normally distributed uh, or not graphically and we have a correlation uh, uh, matrix here which is in the form of uh, uh, this um, heat map you can say then we have principal component analysis uh, also here and you can see how much of the variance explained by our interaction between two factors for a level of another factor and we have so we have a wonderful uh, amount of uh, information with one click for that you have to simply write the create report so what we have to do we will first uh, try to do analysis in case of utilizing this library agrovar for that we will write a name to a function then we will write with which is used for uh, evaluation of an expression then within that what we will do we will use the name of the data set frcbd then after that we will use a function uh, which is used for evaluation or analysis of factorial experiments that is fat 2 b 2 dbc this is for two factors uh, then uh, within these brackets what we have to do we will write the name of the first factor that is shade uh, followed by spacing then followed by our blocking variable that is replication because since we are dealing with a randomized complete block design all the three basic principles of experimental designs application randomization and local control they are all involved because the material here is assumed to be heterogeneous then we will press on the center uh, so we have a problem here we are having an error so let's figure out where we have done the mistake so first is that um, what we have to do we have to write uh, frcbd that is the name of our data set 
then uh, the name of this uh, default code which is used for analyzing then shade then what we will do we will write spacing uh, shade is the first factor spacing is another factor then replication then followed by that means you can see in error response is missing the name of the variable on which we want to evaluate on which we want to see uh, the individual effect on which we want to see the simple effect main effect and interaction factor between these two factors since our first variable is here ps so second is nolp so likewise step one by one we can perform the analysis so the first factor first variable is ps we'll press on this enter so we have a good amount of uh, details in context analysis by this command or by this function you can see the first is the assumptions so of and whether the, whether these assumptions are fulfilled or whether they are violated or not so this we have to see whatever errors are normally distributed their homogeneity of variances or they are independently distributed or we can say they are independently or identically distributed for that uh, we must have a non-significant value of all these uh, statistical uh, test for that we have Shapiro with less we have Bartlett's test for homogeneity of variance we have Turbans Watson's test for independence of errors and in all these three uh, tests we have a non-significant p-value indicating that the assumptions are not violated that means our errors are normally distributed with zero mean and constant variance or we can say the errors are normally distributed or we can say independently or identically distributed then we have the value of coefficient of variation then the overall general mean then this is very important whether we have a significant interaction between these two factors in this case we have a significant interaction and individually they are also significant so the factorial experiment which we have uh, implemented on this ps on this first variable is having a certain kind of an impact or we can say that we have a significant interaction then we have uh, an ANOVA for the factor first inside the each level of the another factors and vice versa. Then we have this uh, uh, final interaction table where you can see whether these the average followed by the same lower case letter in the column and the upper case in the row do not differ significantly. So here you can interpret accordingly whether they are significant or not or uh, we can make a plot of this we will simply write plot underscore interaction then the name of the function then we will press enter so we'll be having a plot here so we have a plot here uh, let me expand it a bit so you can see we have the levels of one factor and these colors are represented by the levels of the other factor simply you can figure out whether there's interaction or not so this is a good visualization of interaction uh, effects uh, then uh, we can cross verify also since the normal procedure of doing uh, analysis in factorial experiment is that suppose we'll write the function here I will write model 1 then usually conventional way is to write the AOV function then say for example we are interested in the first one PS versus then the replication okay then plus shade plus uh, spacing uh, then plus shade uh, star sign um, which uh, is used for interaction so then uh, spacing will write spacing uh, then after that the name of the data set that is frcbd then uh, i'll press on this enter then i will write a summary okay then i will write model one model one so we'll be having ANOVA. This is the conventional way of doing the analysis of factorial experiments in R. But uh, we have an, a library, AgroR, where we can have the results of this analysis of variance. We can have interaction table. We can have some visualization. And we can also side by side check the normality. But there's also another library, uh, which is known as library DOE Bio Research, which is much uh, used in case of factorial experiment. Because in this AgroR, what we have to do we have to do the analysis separately for each and every variable since we have almost seven variables in this we have done only the analysis of the first one but uh, for that if we want to save our time we can simply write uh, we can simply use this library uh, doe bio research for that we will what we have to do we will write uh, here 
we can see since we have two factors, we'll write FRCBD2 fact, which is usually used for analyzing the two factorial experiment in case of this. Then the name of the data set FRCBD. Then uh, we'll put these, squ these uh, square brackets. Then we will write, uh, since from the fourth column, we have the variables here. Simply you can see the first three are the factorial factors, uh, replication, shade, and spacing and from fourth and we have the total number of columns are 10 so from 4 to 10 we have these numerical variables then again what we will do we'll write uh, the name of our this data then dollar sign we will write replication then again frcbd then dollar sign the name of our first factor then frcbd uh, then dollar sign uh, we'll write uh, the spacing then after comma one which is used for a post hoc analysis for uh, a least significant difference then we will press on the center uh, so here we can analyze all these uh, uh, variables in a one click we don't need to do individually analysis of variances so you can see we have the analysis output of ANOVA for each and every variable like the last one is TB you can see the last one is TV, then we have RDPS and all these variables are analyzed in a one click. So both these libraries are recommended whether it is library agro or whether the DOE bio research and in case of bio research you can also uh, have the values which uh, which are good for which are very much used for checking the assumptions of analysis of variances. But in case of uh, agro R, we have then we can check the normality of errors, we can check the independence of errors, we can check the homogeneity, but in case of DOE by research, we can only check the normality by means of this Shapiro test, which is here. Uh, we don't have the assumptions of uh, rest of the two assumptions, whether they are homogeneous in nature or not, whether there is an independence of errors. But both these libraries are very much used and they are highly recommended when you are interested to perform the factorial RCBD. Uh, since uh, both these libraries are usually used uh, for analyzing the factorial type of data, I recommend both of these. But if you want to have so many variables and you want to perform the analysis of all the variables simultaneously, then go for DOE by research. But if you are interested to check the assumptions, uh, all these three assumptions, uh, then uh, you can uh, use uh, agro R, uh, which is also highly recommended. So hope you like this video. Thank you very much.